It's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the Stardew Valley Fair. The event will be will take place in Pelican Town starting between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. Don't be late. Got any tappers? Crafty foragers know how to build them. You can attach them to the wild trees that grow all over, and maple trees yield maple syrup. Oak trees provide resin, and pine trees produce pine tar. Syrup's the most valuable, but all trees' products have their uses, and we already do do that, so thank you for the delayed information. I expect we're going to have a letter in the mail today explaining the festival tomorrow. Uh, first off, Willie says, I've got some new items in stock. A deluxe fishing pole and some bait that you can attach to it. You can use bait to make fish bite faster and hope to see you soon. Willie. We also have Dear Mike. Just want to remind you that the Stardew Valley Fair is happening tomorrow. Don't forget to bring your nine items for the Grange display. Remember, the fair starts at 9 a.m. in the town square. See you there. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Stardew Valley. Last time we had a mega harvest. Um, and went to the community center today. We have another pretty big harvest as well, which includes some pumpkins um, that I'll be sure to take to, to the community center to complete another bundle. That'll probably be done off screen today. We're also gonna get all of our items ready. Um, the nine items, or at least five or seven items that we're gonna display. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of fishing today. And another thing on the list is to get this hoe upgraded with the copper so that all of our tools are at least a copper and probably drop one of these off since we have the money. I made all that money back that I dropped off at the, uh, at the community center all back from yesterday's harvest. Um, so looking forward to potentially um, upgrading one of these to maybe finally break the big logs or the big rocks we have here at our house. Um, so I'm going to do the daily tasks and then depending on what time it is, um, we'll maybe go run over to the, I'll run over to the blacksmith off screen and then we'll complete this bundle and get ourselves ready for, um, ready for the festival, which starts tomorrow. We won't have much time to get ready. So I need to make sure I have all of my items lined up, ready to go. Well, good to know that you can only upgrade one tool at a time. So the copper hoe is the only one there at the moment. Um, as for the items I've chosen, these two seem like pretty high-end foods, so I'm going to go ahead and steal these as the gifts that I got to go ahead and use them. Um, these, I've got like two gold crops from different seasons. I've got a, two gold mining things, things I found, minerals rather. So we've got a vegetable, we've got a flower, we have cooking, we have minerals. Um, I have a forage item that's gold, and then I have an extra vegetable in there, but I should probably put a fruit in here, actually. See if I've got a gold fruit. I'll put the gold melon in instead of the pumpkin, and then I'm also going to find a fish. I'm going to try and fish up something good here while I'm in town, and then we should be set. Nine items of pretty wide variety that are pretty high quality as well. Um, the ponds in my, my property, I just get nothing but trash. Um, so I'm going to try fishing here, but I think I'm going to probably get more trash in town. Oh, no, we're actually getting a fish. Okay. Ah, oh, this guy is moving around a lot. No! No! Mother! That was fucking horrible. Excuse me. Freaking terrible. Ah. We need to go visit the fisherman. That'll be for another episode. Right now, I'm not too worried about that. I might have to go back to my normal pond near Marnie's house to really catch anything good. Oh, we'll try this again. There we go, we're gonna get it. Smallmouth bass, it's a tiny one. But we'll just put some fish in there, I think, to have some variety. I might go check the beach. Maybe there's a fish crab pie item that'll be of higher quality. Look at that, Georgia Cola. <sighs> Let's see. Ah, we do have some rarities here. Oh, and it's gold. Oh, we're definitely gonna use this. This is gonna be our fish item. Wow, I hope we get these back. I hope it's something we definitely get back. And of course I see worms when I don't have my hoe with me. Hadn't seen worms in like a week. Now all of a sudden I see them. 
And we are more than halfway through fall already. I'm really looking forward to winter because a couple of the neighbors in town have been telling me that it's nice in winter for me because I don't have crops to worry about. And if there's actually zero crops you do, there's just some things to forage, then like I'm going to have so much time to just work in the mines and get down levels. I'll have time to fish. Um, I'll have time to just like work around my farm, you know? So I'm kind of hoping that that's actually the case. A little break from having responsibility on the farm and just kind of getting to do some stuff will definitely be nice so i hope that's actually what happens if there is some crops maybe i'll just take a little bit on the lighter side and just do the basics of what i need to do um and this was easier than i thought to get these nine items together i thought i was gonna have to fish a bit harder but we got lucky for sure that high foraging level and those skills are coming in handy let's stop in here just to chat with her give her an item oh she's not even here oh, no, she's in the kitchen um, what do I give her? I can't wait to give her my gift. I'll see her again this week. Let's just talk to her. Yeah, you say the same things all the time. This game could use more dialogue. And I think that's definitely something he said he's working on. Speaking of which, today, he put out, or the other day, he put out a, a post on website, the Stardew Valley website, to talk about version 1.1. And I have to say, I'm pretty excited for it, um, because it's going to definitely have multiplayer. They're going to add some more things later in the game with some more buildings, the ability to move buildings around on your town, um, a handful of other things. Well, it's good to know that gates don't seem to deteriorate, but fences do. So, yeah, this is growing nicely. Good, good. It's all very good. I think I checked these already. Oh! Oh! Is our pale ale done? I wanted to check down this down here first. Uh, it looks like our pale ale is done. If so, that was quick. So let's go ahead and take this. It is a pale ale. Now, drink in moderation. Now, the thing is, does it count as a cooking? I don't think it's a farm and, f oh, it is probably a farm and forage item. Okay, well, this one's going to get sent off, and the next one will go to, what's her name? So, it's probably actually okay. Um, the next one Pam is going to get. But we'll go ahead and send this one off just to get it on our record. Um, I wanted to, yeah, I got three of these. I was, wish I would have got five to dump this. I might actually, that's what I was going to do buy some more pumpkin speeds, put them on the super speed grow, um, maybe if I get that, and then try and get these to grow by the end of the, the end of the season to see if I can, or put it on the quality fertilizer rather, to see if I can get these to get two more to finish that off for the season. So I just have to wait to summer to get the, the full, the full golds of those. Um, so yeah, this should be our nine items. Let's see. Let's see, we have a vegetable that's gold, we have a fruit that's gold, a forage item that's gold, a flower that's gold. We have two great, great cooking items. We have frozen tear that's gold, a mi we have a mineral that's gold, we have a mineral that's silver, and then we have a fish that's high quality. Um, so those will be our night items we're going to submit. Um, I will catch you guys in a moment when we go ahead and... Um, begin the festival. Before we get to the festival, real quick, wanted to go ahead and complete the fall crops bundle to get another one knocked off the list here in the pantry. Um, oh, we get ourselves another bee house. That's nice. So winter, this won't work, but um, yeah, we'll get... Yeah, see, oh, see they're notice there is no winter crops. They replaced the winter crops with quality crops. And of course, I'm like, one away from this, like two away from this, and two away from this. But I only need one of the three. So I actually can probably get rid of one of them. Maybe I won't worry about the pumpkins. Maybe I'll just wait to get the parsnips. Um, I'll see. I'll see how long they take to grow. But I might just call it quits and just do these in the summer. Um, since I only need three. Actually, I didn't even notice I only needed three. But, yep, we're moving. This one's just going to take us to get some fruits. 
and the cheese machine to work and the truff and the oil maker to work and the cloth machine to work. <laughs> okay, time to go all the way home and uh, now we're gonna do the fast. Dudes, pumpkins sell for so much. They're like the cauliflower, 352 for one. That's crazy for just six, look how much I made. I mean, they took a half of a season to grow, but wow, made me some serious bank. All right, 16th of fall. <laughs> Monday, or Tuesday rather, time for the Stardew Valley Festival. We'll go quick, take a peek in case we don't miss something on the television. And I think we're just gonna, starts at 9 a.m. So I'm gonna water my crops. This is ready to get, oh wow, this is ready to harvest again. Ancient fruit. Not sure what we do with this other than sell it for 600. Um, I think it's worth selling or maybe keeping not really sure uh, i'm gonna place this bee house over here with the other one for now and no eggs all right time to water looks like nothing special happens here all right festival has begun time to head into town Zero stars. Do I actually play games and my money? Stardew Valley Fair. Shop. Let's start with the shop. Trading your star tokens for prizes? Sure. A hundred. Dried sunflowers. Fedora. A rare clue. Star drop. A mysterious fruit that empowers those who eat it. The flavor is like a dream. A powerful personal experience, yet difficult to describe to others. Interesting. It's like some drug thing. <laughs> Um, what is this? Are you strong like me? Smash stone. Bulldozer. Does that get me something? Dang, it was too early still. Gorilla. I'm close. Oh, way too slow. Okay, I think that one's just for fun. <laughs> um, Alright, let's talk to this one. Play the slingshot game and win star tokens. Sure, we'll play at least game each game once. I got tons of money. Oh, jeez, okay. This is weird. I have to like pull backwards and like, why is this so weird? If I pull too far back, then like my mouse comes off the screen. Ah, 41, what does this get me? Is that just 41 tokens? Based on accuracy. Oh, we got accuracy multiplier, 22. Okay, sure. That was an okay game. It's Alex, these two always hanging out. Ooh, in the graveyard. Sure, let's try the fishing game. I guess every game cast is 50 here. I had to walk over to the water. Forgot that part. Gosh, freaking darn it. <sighs> this isn't gonna go well. Definitely not gonna go well. Um, 
are we getting trash? Why do you put trash in this bin? It should just be like fresh fish to catch. Are we basically just, they, they just like have us walk down to the lake in town. Close, close, gosh darn it. Oh, you fucking fish. Sorry, sorry, it's late. Oh my god. That was horrible. Not gonna catch this in time. Unless I do this perfect. Anyway, I did do it perfect. Okay, that was it. We're done. At least it gave me like the respective amount of, of tokens for that. Okay. Um, wow, there's lots to do. I'm glad the day doesn't tick by. It's over here. Nothing here. It's just a storage barn, it looks like. Who is this guy? Okay, he's just hanging out there. Step right up, pick a color and place your bet on a chance to double your wager. Orange. Ah. I'll go five. Yeah, I saw that. So we lost five stars instead of doubling it. Okay. What do we got over here? Selling star tokens for just 50G a piece. No, we won't do that unless, like, at the end we only need, like, a bit more. It's a tourist in town. What the heck? And this. Are these tourists too? The bus was broken last time I checked. Ah, here's mine. Ah, oh, there's all of our items. So here's Margie's. He's got all crops. Yeah, she's just got a bunch of animal ones and he's got a bunch of fishermen, fishermen's. I am setting up mine. Mine's all set up. You might get bonus points for that, actually. It's pretty impressive. Oh, look at the animals over here. This is a cool event. This is a good event. There's the pigs. We don't have the pigs yet. Okay, I can't leave. Thank you. Let's check with him, because we haven't talked to him in a while, I don't think. Yeah, he's always just so quick to get out of people. I am having a good time. Alright, we got a fortune teller over here. I think that's about it for the extent of the events. Let's check with... Read my fortune, sure. I got money to spend, what the heck not. I see you in a room, having a conversation with a lady. Oh, it's Marnie, you seem to be close friends. We are close friends. Haley working together on a farm. You seem very pleased about something. Why would she... Okay, yeah, I could marry her or something down the road, but why would she ever work? She would never work. You're in combat. There's something dreadful bearing down on you from the dark, but you seem more than ready to face it. Now just keep in mind that the future isn't set in stone. Whatever I've told you today can still be changed if you set your heart on it. Farewell. So she thinks I'm going to get together with Haley, and then... Yeah. Bobak and I have known each other for a long time. She's a remarkable diviner and a good friend. Just hanging out. Okay. Hanging out here. Why can't I go there? That's so annoying. Get rid of whatever's there in the update. Let me walk around town easier. <laughs> oh, we didn't come down here. What's this stuff? Oh, is this his display?
I do like them. Nice job. I guess this is her setup right here. Okay. Um, so I guess those are the only two games we really have left unless we want to like bet everything we have. Let's see, what was, was there anything in the shop like we, I would actually really want? Um, I wouldn't mind the Fedora, but I don't want the Rare Crow or the Star Drop. I don't, I, I'm not gonna like do that right now. That's for like another year. Um, Dried Sunflowers or the Fedora might be nice. But I don't really, let's do this game one more time because this was a little fun. I don't want to fish. Let's try this. Now that I kind of know how to play and I say that and let's try and hit the targets now. My mouse does not like the edge of the screen. It's like very finicky as to where I can shoot. But it's a very neat little mini game. Yeah, this is really bad. I'm just gonna bet 50 and if I get 50 back. <laughs> um, wow. See, this is so weird. See, it's just like so sensitive. I think that's what it is. I think it's just too sensitive. Okay, I want to bet like 50, and if I double it and get myself to 100, great. Actually, we could just like play that again. Actually, no. You know what? I'm going to bet on orange, and we're going to do 50. So it better land on freaking orange. Nope, it's gonna be green again. Gosh, it's in the same spot! Oh my gosh! Is this rigged? It's gonna be orange this time, of course. But I wanna see. Yep, now it's orange. Okay, now I'm actually out. Forget it, we're not getting anything from this. Um, let's get ourselves judged and see what... Um, ha actually, let me peek up here, just because there's a banner here. There might be something up here, and I'm glad I looked! Here's half the town up here. Yeah, look, we got food out here. Okay, so this is where people are eating, and there's more tourists. Okay, good news. Um... I think we covered the bases. Let's get the judging underway. I've set everything up. Yes. Oh, he's, he's walking over himself to judge. Maybe I'll get like a bunch of tokens if I win. And then I'll go from there. Oh, he's judging Pierre's. Now he's judging mine. Now he's judging Marnie's. Yep, here goes nothing for sure. What's this guy's name again? Willie, that's right. He's judging Willie's. He's probably gonna walk down here now and charge and check the other people's. Oh, okay. Congratulations, you won first place with a rating of 94. Yes, I got a thousand. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Your prize is a thousand star tokens. Spend them wisely. Oh, yeah, and I'm definitely going to clean this out. I want all this stuff back. Definitely want all of that stuff back. That's awesome. I can believe it. I have a variety of stuff. Okay, um, we got a thousand. So the question is, do we see what that two thousand dollar star drop is? 
Do we see what this $2,000 star drop is? And um, bet a thousand that we can double it at the little wheel? <laughs> or do I buy the things that I want? Um, you know, what do we do? We could we could potentially double and get whatever this is. I don't know if this is just like a one time eat it and <coughs> you just can reheal everything. Um, yeah, you know, I'm not okay. What I'll do is I'm gonna buy a fedora. I'm gonna buy the dried sunflowers, and I'm gonna bet the entire 400 on the little wheel. And if we double it and get lucky, great. If we don't. If we don't get lucky, then we'll just call it a day. Because there's probably not a pattern to this. Dang it, it's green again. Wow. Okay, yeah, well, that solves that for us. <laughs> Alright. I think it's time to end this event. Is there something that does that happens at the end of it? Or Because usually it's like when you get judged, like, that's it. That's the end of it. Let's put this on. Oh, I love it. Look at our little hat. We'll place that on our inside of our house now. Festival end. Okay. This is neat. All right. So that needs to get dropped off. Um... Do I sell this? Do I keep it? What do I do with it? Um, keep this for now, just in case I grow some more pumpkins and get gold ones. Let's see, though. That can be sold. That can be sold. This can be sold. That can be sold. That can be sold. Do I want to sell this or do I want to keep it? I think I'll keep it for now. We'll just we'll keep one of these in our house because I don't really know what they do or what to expect from them. Um, keep the cakes here because that'll be like when I go mining, I'll take a cake with me. Let's see. Really should also keep an autumn's bounty with me as well. Um, okay, we'll put that away. We'll grab this. Oh, it's a nice big plant. There we go. That's nice. And television. We checked the television already. All right, sleep. We'll see the results. And then I think that might be it for this episode. I think that was enough content in there. Our hoe will be ready this next day as well to pick up. Maybe I'll just go show that real quick in case that does something special. We're getting through fall. It's going to be winter soon. And I'm excited to see some snow. I love this hat. I hope we saw a trout soup already. We haven't had rain in a while. Fall is typically dry though, so makes some sense. Oh, we got the pale ale. And these are ready to harvest. Oh, they're all silvers. Dang, they're all silvers on the fertilizer. Those could have all been golds, and that would have been amazing. Dang. There's so much to harvest again. Okay, um, let's actually bring this pale ale to Pam. Just to get this out of the way, and then I'll do the daily stuff after, and sell a bunch of stuff. We'll go pick up, we'll bring this to Pam, and we'll also go pick up um, the hoe and check that out, and then that'll be it for this episode. It turns out, three hearts of friendship is enough to go into someone's bedroom. Popping in, let's grab ourselves the lucky purple shorts. Better return it to Lewis. Looks like we're going to get two quests done, um, and this episode's actually going to cut and i'm going to pick up the rest of this later so thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed the festival um next time on stardew valley we're going to knock out some quests and do a couple more activities as we start to wrap up the season of fall um thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys later see ya hey guys thanks so much for watching season 10 of tornado survival has begun click here in the top right to see the first episode in that series if you'd like to check out my minecraft server avius click here in the top left Click the link below to follow me on Twitter to get the latest on my channel. And if you've liked what you've seen so far, click the big banner below to subscribe.